It's Friday, and that means it's time for Friday Follies. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raymond, another week, another artistic treasure defiled by climate activists, I see. L Laura, this time it's the National Gallery in London. The target, Van Gogh's sunflowers. Mm -hmm. All I can say is, look, soup might be good food, but it's always a bad protest. Security. What is worth more, art or life? Is it worth more than food, worth more than justice? Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? L Laura, uh, how do you claim to protect and value nature when one of the most beautiful depictions of nature, Van Gogh's sunflowers, you throw soup on? I mean, these people, they should have to tape themselves, affix themselves to the dumpster outside the National Gallery as a, an emblem of what not to do. This is a disgrace. Protest all you want. You're not allowed to defile international treasures. I'm sorry. Well, let's just, let's just be very blunt, Raymond. These are criminals. Mm. They should be treated as such. They're I also agree. spoiled brats who think that this is their moment. If there weren't cameras around, they wouldn't have done this, okay? This is TikTok, you know, meets the, you know, crime syndicate family. This time it's going after art. And it's, look, it's, uh, if we follow their advice, that soup they threw at the painting, they won't be able to warm it pretty soon because everything's going to dry up on them. There, there's an energy crisis in Europe. The last thing they should be doing is saying no exploration and no further drilling. This is absurd. You're going to be uh, warming yourself, I don't know where, by the sun, maybe by the sunflower. Uh, and as inter inflation spikes, Laura, and oil dries up here at home, uh, and cops are being gunned down in our cities, the president, I want you to know, he is hard at work. He's doing the important stuff, Laura. He's celebrating Joy Behar's 80th birthday. And the whole Biden family, happy birthday, Joy. No one is better named than you. You speak your mind, you speak from the heart, you stand up for what you believe, and you do it with warmth, humor, and authenticity. Warmth and humor? Maybe he was what? watching another host, Laura. Excuse me a second, past. please. I, I want to talk about the We're different... honoring, but I'm not interested in your one issue. I don't care what you're interested in. I'm talking. Well, I don't care you what you're what? interested Damn in we'll either. We'll be right back. You missed me so much. You missed fighting with me. I did not. You missed fighting I did with not me. miss you. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody, oh let somebody answer <laughs> the question. I, Laura, you know, ever since Barbara Walters left that show, the chemistry has been off because no one could rein Joy Behar in. She was once kind of a funny little pet on the side. Now she's turned into a partisan attack dog. That's all she does every day. But to call that, for Joe Biden to call that warm and humorous, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Raymond, the, the funny thing is that was in a teleprompter. Right. He couldn't just come up with that that really sophisticated birthday message, he actually had to have that in prompter. But That's... I, it begs a question, Laura, though. Why is the president doing these little, uh, I mean, is he on Cameo where you can order him up and send a little video message to a friend? How does he have time to do a two camera shoot with the first lady to be sent to Joy Behar when the world is exploding Raymond, and inflation is through the roof. Last week he, or the week before, whatever it was, he had time to take a two-hour tour <laughs> oh. of the University of Pennsylvania. I believe it was with his granddaughter. His granddaughter. Yeah. Oh, two nothing else tour. to do. Yeah, well, nothing else to do. No. When you have the Biden Center there, Laura, for international and diplomatic outreach, I think they teach what not to do on the international scene there. Uh, finally, the January 6th committee, which, remember, it's about getting to the roots of the violence that swamped the Capitol on oh, yeah. January 6th. They are so excised about violence that they've spent millions investing in this, investigating this riot. Well, the other day, they aired this footage from documentary filmmaker Alessandra Pelosi, her forthcoming documentary, uh, which seems to cut against their narrative. It showed peaceful Speaker Pelosi on January 6th. At the moment, he is not coming, but that could change. 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 I would come to him and punch him out. This oh, is my mom. I would pay I'm that. waiting for this for trespassing on the Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out, and I'm going to go to jail, and I'm going to be happy. Punching the president. I want to punch him out. Imagine if any other 
high ranked dignitary or officer of the government said this about another. Pelosi is always talking about the constitutional balance. Well, you can't threaten with violence and go right to violence. Yes, you can. Every time people disagree with you, Laura. Yes, they can. And then they can say when Trump makes some offhand remark at a rally about someone getting punched by someone else. I mean, this is this is actually the Speaker of the House saying she wants to physically punch someone right. as she claims violence is at a fever pitch because of Republicans. Oh, really, sweetheart? Mm. Well, and this is Pelosi also on January 6th, and it could almost be a commentary, Laura, on her I'm going to punch him out routine. Watch. It shows the weakness of those who've had to show through violence what their message was. You can say that again. This is a narrative, Laura. Look, everybody's trying. She's trying to blame shift and claim that the president is the fomenter of violence. But the first instinct in private is, I want to punch him out. I want to get him. I'll go to jail for it. That's a pretty outrageous admission, I thought. All right, Raymond, great to see you. We'll see you on the book tour. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.